We're here at the KOA in Butte, Montana. I really can't give you an impressions of this park. I do like the park. It's paved and gravel. So it's where I'm at, way over there. Uh, again, they got these rock things. And then underneath the rigs is sand. It's 50 amps, water, sewer. The only thing is that there is a storm coming in from Canada. And it's going to dump anywhere from 8 to 10 inches of snow in the next two days here. So I was going to spend two nights here, but that's not going to happen now. Essentially, I'm going to leave tomorrow and head down to Idaho Falls. Spend one night there and then head down to Utah. I, I don't want to be caught in the snow storm. I don't want to be caught in with snow on the ground while I'm towing Wanda. That is not a good thing. And the most wonderful thing just happened. Phil and Mary pulled up. So we're gonna have dinner together. We're in Butte, Montana. And guess who I ran into? <laughs> Phil and Mary, no last names. <laughs> they pulled the up in people. their they pulled up in their beautiful RV. And I'm looking at it, it's like there's only one person that I know that has that. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Oh, the car's matching. It's gotta be them. <laughs> what a surprise for us too. Yeah. <laughs> so we just came back from dinner. Wonderful steakhouse. Yeah. Too much food. Now I'm full. <laughs> Two final notes about Butte, Montana. There is a lot of history here. And I'm really sad that I'm leaving this KOA. It's a it's a nice KOA. I did not see the bathroom facilities. There's laundry over there apparently. And it's right off, even though there's a main road over here, I did not hear any traffic noise whatsoever last night. Uh the reason I'm only here for one night, I was supposed to here for, be here for two nights. But <laughs> there is a big snowstorm coming in and they're expecting 10 to 18 inches of snow between Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So everyone is hightailing it out of the <laughs> Montana Rockies and either heading south or south as far as they can or east as far as they can. So all of these sites this morning that are now empty they've already hightailed it out of here and a very nice surprise last night or yesterday when I pulled in 20 minutes after I pulled in Philip Phil and Mary pulled in after me so we had a wonderful meal last night really nice I those stories of RVers getting together or accidentally meeting at this campground, I never quite realized that it's true. <laughs> so a month, almost a month from when I last saw them, we hooked, we saw each other again at an RV site. Really funny or really nice. It was a very pleasant surprise. So I'm going to say my goodbyes to them later after I do my by putting away the stuff <laughs> would I stay here again yes or no it's a definite yes my second KOA experience was surprisingly very pleasant thanks for watching bye